What's up everybody, this is Jason from EO7 Media, Night Owls Media, and 4Love Films, and today I'm gonna show you a quick little trick that I learned inside of editing Premiere. It threw me for a loop, I couldn't figure it out, and boom, it was super simple. Let's take a look. So as you can see, I am inside Premiere right now and I'm editing a video for some friends of mine who run a YouTube channel that they review toys on and it's really fun, it's really funny, it's really exciting. Guys, here's the link, go check them out, they're awesome. As I'm editing it, uh, I'm getting all the edits that I want, I'm getting the colors that I want, I'm really happy with everything. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Control M, we go to edit and what the hell is this? The image is way overblown. I mean, look at these side by side here. That's insane. This is this is literally awful, awful, awful crap. So I'm going online. Um, I read something about this guy right here. This guy right here from February twentieth, two thousand twenty-two. He's saying you have to like uh, go into the modify, interpret the footage, and change it to Rec seven hundred nine, and all this other stuff. And I went into my timeline and I checked everything was correct, but this was still being overblown and it was driving me nuts because there's no way in hell I'm going to export this video like this and it looks like crap. And I'm going under my custom preset right here, the 16 by 9, 23.976, 100 megs per second in order to put it up on YouTube. And uh, usually this looks gorgeous and I'm wondering what the hell is going on. So how do I fix this? Well, it's super simple. First of all, make sure that all of your export settings over here look great and everything looks nice and clean. And then go up to your basic video settings and just click match source, boom. It changes the image to look like the source. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work in every situation. I did make sure I was re uh, on a Rec. 709 timeline. I recorded on a Sony A7S III in Cinetone, uh, and I just didn't know what was going on. So here we go, trying stuff, and boom, it totally works. And let's look back at this, and look back at the export. That looks pretty on point. Really quick fix, I hope this helps someone out there. Be better and do something awesome today. <laughs>